Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting screencast and the problem reads uh, Replace the loading system by an equivalent resultant force and specify where the resultant line of uh, action intersects the beam AB measured from A This problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics Aesthetics uh, textbook 13th edition by R.C. Bella Right so we have been asked to replace the loading system by an equivalent resultant force and specify where the resultant line of action intersects uh, the member A, B measured from A. So let me just draw uh, what we are talking about. This time around, the structure is uh, uh, oriented uh, differently from the other cases that we are solving um, but that is still fine so we are going to find the resultant uh, force and specify where the resultant line of uh, action intersects the member a b measured from a so let's say this is our uh, our distance d measured from a and let's say we have our resultant at this point let's say it is going in this direction i mean not resultant we have one component this component uh, this component which is the summation of uh, forces in the x direction okay so let me just wrap here uh, it, okay no maybe let me reduce this a little bit it comes a little bit down okay let me place it here I place it here they are like so so let's have one component and we said one component in the x let's say it is this one here from here somewhere there all right they are like so great and uh, what is the magnitude of this uh, we don't know the magnitude but we are going to call it as F. We'll call it as F R X. Okay, great. And then we'll call this as our D. All right, not good enough, like so. So let's write our equation. Let me wrap this. So we are saying um the moment due to r f f r x times d should be equal to the summation of moments about point a right mm -hmm. uh, let's find the components of this force 5 newton that is inclined so it will have two components it will have one component like so and another one like so so let's find this quickly work out this quickly so what are these so this one is going to be equal to 5 times the, the run which is 3 divided by 5 this gives us just a 3, right? This one is 5 times the rise, which is a 4 divided by 5. This one just gives us a 4. Alright. So let's sum up the forces. So we have summation of forces in the Y. Going up being our reference. is going to be equal to summation of f r y i mean 
not summation, just f r y, f r y, which is equal to what do we have in the y? Just a negative four. Is that so? Mm -hmm. Just a negative four. No, negative four minus six. We have two of them, so this gives us a minus 10. All right. Then we have summation of forces in the x. In this direction being our positive, we are saying this is going to be equal to, this is equal to FRR x, which is equal to, this is equal to, um minus eight uh -huh. uh, plus three this therefore gives us minus five All right uh what else um let's find the resultant then we find summation of moments then we have Result and force using Pythagoras Pythagoras theorem result and force is equal to square root square root over the x component which is minus five squared plus minus ten squared this gives us grab your calculator five squared I mean 5 squared plus 10 squared root of that it gives us a 1 1 point 1 8 right 5 squared plus 10 squared root of 11.18 the angle is going to be equal to tan inverse of and the component in the y which is a minus 10 divided by minus 5 okay what do we have um what we have is a 63.43 degrees what are the units for this? Let me put units kilonewtons, kilonewtons, kilonewtons. Let's work out the summation of moments about point A. Summation of moments about point A and clockwise being our reference. About point A, we have a positive moment as 8 by R3. Mm -hmm. Then we have a negative moment that is 6 by uh, 0.5. And then we have another negative moment that is 4 by uh, 2. That is another negative moment that is 3 by um. 3 by 4. Okay. What do we have? So we have 8 by 3. Then we have 6 by 0.5. Then we have 4 by 2. Then we have 3 by 4. Alright. So 8 by 3. 8 by 3. Minus 6 by 0.5. Minus 4 by 2 minus 3 by 4. So this gives us a 1. A 1 kilonewton meters. Okay. So what is FRX? It is minus 5. What this simply means, if I was to write this, what this simply means is this is equal to uh, 10 kilonewtons uh, 10 kilonewtons but it is facing 
down this is what it means and this one means it's a 5 kilonewtons okay and uh, the force is facing in this direction like that that is what it means so now what is important here is this equation all right you have to pay uh, you have to be careful on the signs that you use here because the signs uh, relates to the direction uh, of uh, the moment okay is it clockwise is it anticlockwise okay and uh, forces there must just be taken as magnitudes all right and it's the direction of the moment because you are equating two moments right one moment due to the resultant equal to the summation of moments about a given point so this force since this force is in this direction is in the negative direction okay and you found ma okay which is also equal to this you can also write it as just one kilonewtons like so meters and you see in the anticlockwise direction is like this okay so you expect two moments to be in the same direction right so we are saying moments about a due to this result and it's in the same direction here so we are saying this one here let me write it down here so what we are saying basically if i was to write it down here this direction that we assumed was correct we found a one I mean not a one sorry we found uh, a what a five okay so the direction here should be it is giving us this direction right and also the summation of moments about this point is giving us also the same direction okay which is summation of moments about point a right so the two need to be equal right the two need to be equal so this is summation of moments about point a and this is equal to f r x d okay and because they are supposed to be in these directions like so to be equal in this particular case we just take the magnitude the way it is is 5 which is our f r x times d equal to 1 all right it's equal to 1 therefore d is just going to be equal to 1 divided by 5 and 1 divided by 5 is equal to point uh, 0 0.2 meters and this is equal to 0 0.2 meters so if we are to write this which we are going to do uh, let's say we have one structure from here and um, maybe to there uh, all right maybe to there like so and then let's copy this we copy this maybe bring one somewhere there like so or we bring it here like so all right and then this is equal to this then this points this point is a and so is this point so let's say we have uh, in the first case let's draw up the two forces that's a uh, that's a point two let's assume it is somewhere here that's for the sake of clarity let's say it is somewhere here so we have one component like this it's going in that direction and then we have another component summation of forces in the y it is going in that direction like so okay right like so okay 
and uh, the magnitude of uh, this one here we said it is a 5 kilonewtons and this one is a 10 kilonewtons okay right and uh, what about it uh, so we expect a resultant to be somewhere there like so right which we are going to show in this other case so let's show the resultant and you found also the angle so we have the resultant let's say here let's use a straight line here uh, it's an angle is an angle um, okay I think this is good enough is an angle here let's call this as 11.18 okay and then we have an angle there we have an angle this angle there So this one, this angle is, this angle is a 63.43, a 63.43, right. This is really about it, this is really about it. And I hope the video is helpful. I hope the video is helpful. I know I've not drawn this like that, that curve there. I've just made them stressed, okay? So I hope the video is helpful. And if it was, give me a thumbs up, uh, like my video, continue subscribing and liking my channel. Bye-bye. And uh, see you in my next uh, screencast.